Today's special guest on your favorite podcast is Nina Moname, a woman of virtues, a mother, and a teacher of the Bible. She is the founder of the Digging Deeper Online Teaching and Evangelism on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. She has also written a book called New Believers Class. In this episode, she is going to teach you how to begin your day with Jesus through the Bible. Luke chapter 19, 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw him and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord. Here and now, I give half of my possession to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I'll pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. I have titled this morning's reflection, Limited Vision. If you grew up attending Sunday school, I'm pretty sure you remember the story of Zacchaeus and sang to this tune. Zacchaeus was a tiny little man and a tiny little man was he. He climbed upon the sycamore tree to see the Lord Jesus. You know, recently I told this story to my children. And while I was telling this story, I suddenly had an insight. I realized that this man had a limited vision of Jesus due to his height. He realized it and did something about it. So let us explore together the first thing this man did. The first issue I would like us to ponder is what prompted the man to have the desire to see Jesus? Remember, he was a chief publican, which means he was a a very powerful man in the society and had authority. This man must have had all the good things of life. Yet the story he heard about Jesus stirred his heart and a desire to meet Jesus. The second thing we observe here is that having a desire to meet Christ did not guarantee meeting him. He needed to press through the crowd because he was limited. Sadly, he was short in stature and this was not going to work at all. There was a limitation and he needed to work out how to overcome it. So what did he do? He climbed a a tree. If this were in our days, if you can't see someone, what will you do? You use maybe a binoculars to improve your vision. Or you zoom if it's something you're trying to see on the phone. But one thing I'd like you to observe from this story that is very surprising twist to the story is that Jesus noticed the effort this man made and met him in the middle. Jesus said to him, you come down. I'm going to your house for dinner. Wow. Imagine trying to meet the Queen of England and she notices and invites you for dinner not in her house but yours that's simply amazing so what lessons can we learn from Zacchaeus Zacchaeus teaches us to seek the savior you may have heard so much about Jesus and you desire to know him personally yet you are unwilling to make the effort consider what is currently limiting you from following God Is it ungodly friends? Too busy with work? What can you do about it? 
The good news we observe from this story is that Jesus will notice your desire to know him and meet you at the point where you are starting to seek him before you even realize it. He will not just meet you, but he will dine with you and live with you. That's exactly what the Bible says in Revelation 3.20. He says, look, I've been standing at the door. I'm constantly knocking. If anyone hears me calling him and opens the door, I will come in and fellowship with him and he with me. That is what God wants to do for you and I. He doesn't just want you to have a limited vision of him. He wants you to see him clearly. And that's why he wants to dine with you. Will you open your heart today to dine with the Lord? And start from where you are with a simple desire to know God and make effort like Zacchaeus to know him. God bless you. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please make sure you leave a review. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also follow us on Spotify and Google Podcast. Hit subscribe now and don't miss the next episode.